no lie, man. Sometimes I like to listen to the radio in Spanish because I'm convinced if I listen long enough, then I'll eventually just be able to speak Spanish. Same thing with like listening to any Spanish shows like telenovelas or I don't know, like Spanish music. Cause uh, like my mom's Colombian, she's fluent in Spanish, and my dad's white, but he's a Spanish teacher. And um, <laughs> for some reason, they didn't teach me to speak uh, Spanish fluently. And it's always been one of the biggest things that I wanted to learn as I uh, got older, so. One day, it's, it's my goal to become fluent in Spanish. I'm gonna make it happen. Uh, let me turn this down, bro. I just got out of PT. I forgot to bring my camera in, so I didn't really record it, but, um, dude, Andy just got me right, man. I feel a lot better right now. The pain was already diminishing a lot over the past couple days since, uh, late last week. I wasn't even able to pull three reds last week, man. It was fucking bad, but, uh, I feel a lot better after going and seeing him, and I'm confident I might be able to get under a bar tomorrow to squat. I think I might be able to without pain. Uh, I'm just gonna keep doing my drills, my warm-up drills, and just making sure I'm staying on top of everything I can and if not or if I flare up again I'm gonna go see Andy later this week again uh, right around deadlifts so I don't know we're gonna see I feel really good right now man everything's clicking into pace I got a freshity shaved face feeling myself feeling cute not gonna lie to you but yeah we're about to head to HQ and we gotta get there because we got a meeting in like an hour All right, so we just met about like a bunch of stuff. We met about this upcoming tank ad that we're gonna shoot. We also met about some stuff pertaining to the next launch specifically, but it was good. Like it was a good meeting overall. You know, we just Lock it in. Re or retouched on a lot of things that like we all needed to get on the same page about. So now we're kind of already about what we need to do moving forward in order to execute this launch the way that we really want to. I came out from the bathroom a second ago and like everyone was gone, man. Like I don't I don't know what happened. Russ left, Duhan left, Dion left as well. <laughs> 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 you know, a bunch of shit. But I, I, I guess uh, I'm gonna eat this meal and then we're gonna go have, over to the gym soon for a little bench. Are you feeling better or no? Can you like yeah. even... No. Damn. How about dumbbells? I can do dumbbells. All right, at least we can do dumbbells. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to squat tomorrow, no lie. Hopefully I am. But... I'm gonna try to warm up to 397 today and see how that moves. And just felt like the best it ever has, to be quite honest. So like, I'm optimistic. I'm gonna take this shirt off and then just start getting my mobility going, and we're gonna have a good day today. Oh my god, man, I'm fucking ready. Pre-workout doesn't hit as hard when you dry scoop it. Which, like, I don't know if it's true or not, but I mean, shit, I can. It does make sense, though, because whenever I do actually drink my pre-workout, it hits me in the face, like, five times harder. All right, that's one. All right, all set. Oh, dude, that hurts my sunburn so badly. <laughs> I'll be damned if I let sunburn stop me from fucking benching. Fuck that. It's gonna manifest a strong day. <sighs> Alright, we'll see. I need to feel with three reds. Last one we're at 172. Felt pretty good. That shit moved good, good, to be quite honest. It's funny because you never really know how it moves until like after you watch back the video. Because I swear to God, it always feels harder than it looks every single time. Oh, fuck yes. I still got it. Hey, that might have been my best 397. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know if I paused that bit. I'm not gonna I think about it. I don't know. Positioning was on point. A1 single. I'll take it. Three. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. No, honestly, hey, man, like. It's the closest thing I thought it was gonna be, I'm not gonna lie. Cause I saw it slow down and I thought you were just gonna give up, but you kept going, so. Fuck. What, what's your best? I'm pissed he failed that, I'm not gonna lie to you. Don't let that shit happen again. Damn, I forgot the cupping was on my back, too. Yeah, 
yeah, uh, we, we were out at the pool Saturday after after our workout, and we were all, me and Dion were on barbecuing duty. I got so goddamn burned, man. It was bad. Like, I put this tanning oil on, but like, I needed like SPF 50 or some shit, because like, my skin wasn't used to being out in the sun. I just got fucking fried. So like, I'm like red as shit now. I, I used to be so much worse. Like, I swear to God, they were calling me a Larry the Lobster on Saturday. It was bad, <laughs> but it's not too, too bad now, but like, I'm still red. I just put it on Ado like three times a day. I'm just trying to get this shit done. Like, I just want this shit to turn to tan, you know what I'm saying? Like, Tuesday morning. Somehow I like re pissed off my back. I don't even know how the fuck I did it. I'm not gonna lie to you. A lot of GPT samples for knee sleeves came in, and I was trying them on last night. And I think when I was like on my couch trying to wrestle on a pair of extra smalls, I like just bent a weird way and I like re pissed off my back. So I guess like I don't know if I'm gonna be able to squat today, man. I mean, I'm gonna try to warm up to 485. And I, I was texting Joey this morning, and he goes, Yeah, you might have to body build, or if you can warm it up without pissing, off, pissing it off, and then maybe have like one or two sets and then just do leg press after you can try to do that so i mean we're gonna see it's just fucking frustrating because like i thought i made all this progress and like i was virtually pain free 24 hours ago like i swear and now i just pissed it back off over some dumb shit you know so i don't know man we're gonna go to hq and i think we have a couple meetings regarding the next couple photo shoots just making sure everyone's on the same page again and i have to answer a couple work related email stuff we're gonna go train you know i don't know i still want to get the chance to talk to you guys about what I want to talk about is I want to talk about things I wish I knew getting into powerlifting that that like I know now but like I wish I knew back then you know so I kind of need to collect my thoughts and then sit down and then present it to you guys but like can't do that right now so we'll catch you guys at work about in a, this is two samples right here like having a whole lot of pain trying to squat 500 pounds but like it really is what it is there's nothing i can really do but that moved all right joey just wants me to stop at like around 500 for the day and then do some sets of five at like 353 363 so i'm gonna just do that and uh um, and just move on to leg press and just like bodybuilding shit because uh anything that's gonna be like stabilizing or like single leg stuff to just strengthen the individual muscle groups rather than just try to piss it off even more so yeah <laughs> We did like two sets of that. I felt fine. We're just gonna move on to leg press, do some like single leg stuff. But like I said, just trying to strengthen all the muscles like around the area that's hurt and trying not to just piss off what's already broken. Oh, 
Once you complete the workout for today, uh, mayhem, shower up, relax a bit. And that's where I'll talk to you guys about what I wanted to talk, to talk about this entire video, just haven't gotten the chance to yet. So the point of this video is I kind of wanted to like break down my lifting career and talk about things that I wish I knew when I first started that I know now. Because I feel like a lot of you people now who are watching my videos, you guys are either just getting into your lifting career now or you've been at it for a while but you just find my content entertaining. Either or, I feel like I have a perspective on things that a lot of people might not understand or like really relate to. So I want to kind of like bestow that upon you guys so that you guys can take that with you and just move forward with it because it'll probably be helpful. One thing was I think one of the reasons why I was really good when I got into powerlifting at first, like my first ever meet, my numbers were like 579, 286, 579, which like for a first ever powerlifting meet, like aren't bad at all. You know what I mean? And I think a reason why I was so successful at, at, at my first point in powerlifting was because I always grew up playing sports. So like I dabbled a little bit in wrestling and football when I was in middle school. And then I played lacrosse like all throughout high school. But like through that entire time, like while I was doing all these things, I was always always lifting weights one because I enjoyed it but two because like I knew that it would help in these other areas that I was like putting effort towards you know so when I first like got into powerlifting I already enjoyed doing squat bench and deadlift I was just doing like a random program but I was doing a lot of accessories to like look good and feel good and like build muscle like I always cared about being strong and building a lot of muscle you know a lot of the times now powerlifters like they don't hit enough accessories they don't like really think about building muscle as like the primary move to like getting better in powerlifting rather than just technique or hitting the big three and like when we first got into like lifting it's because we all wanted to be jacked and like just building that muscle gives you such a good foundation in order to set yourself up for like down the line you just have a greater capacity for strength with like greater muscle density size all of that you know so like if you were young and if you had to take like one thing away from this specifically is like do your fucking accessories man like you're in the stage of your lives right now where you're gonna do the most growth that you ever have ever and that like it's you're gonna be going through the most growth now ever and that you really gotta like take advantage of it while you can and just like put your all into training while you, while you have the capabilities to do it because like you don't really have responsibilities right now unless like you're in college but even then like that's not the real world you know what i mean like put everything into training that you can because that's like the time in your life where you're gonna make the most progress your body's changing the most you're developing the most mentally you, and you have the least amount of responsibilities to sum it up like it's just a perfect storm as well as like you're going through puberty as well to make progress in the gym you know so just like take full advantage of it while you can and just eat, sleep, train, and train hard. Like, like get big, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like a lot of people started on like the bro, the bro split, you know, just trying to get fucking massive and uh, just look good, you know? But a lot of us built like our foundation upon that, upon getting into powerlifting, as in like, we already had a lot of muscle to put us at like an advantage when it comes to someone who, like a lot of powerlifters, a lot of powerlifters like that get into powerlifting, they, it's either they weren't really lifting like that before and they fell into love with lifting and then shortly after they got into powerlifting or like they didn't really play sports growing up, you know? So like they just lack a lot of the things that, it's as if like people who already had that competitive history and outlet in the past, they almost have an advantage, especially if they have any form of prior training, which most people do. It just depends on how much longer you were doing it for. Oh, another thing. I know a lot of times powerlifters are constantly looking to like change their technique or optimize their form or whatever. But I feel like a lot of times powerlifters can be overcome by this thing called analysis paralysis where they kind of overthink themselves into oblivion and to the point where it's impossible for them to move forward because they're talk they're thinking and constantly overthinking about every little thing about the entire lift in general where like, you know, not all lifts need to be perfect and like the point of getting up to heavier weight is that like you're going to see like form breakdown at some point. So when you overthink your technique and you're like, like, oh, well, this, because my technique is like this, it's going to, at a certain weight, my, my body's going to do this, and that's going to be my weak point, and yada, yada, yada. And if I fix this, I'm going to be able to, if you just cut all that shit out, and then you just think about getting stronger, even if you do have any form of technical deficiency where like it may or may not lead to you uh, being able to lift like a tiny bit less weight, 
instead of like having to constantly think about that one little thing where it's always going to be like a nagging element for your entire lifting career you're going to be oh did like was my pelvis like this that much uh like shifted this way or you know whatever i don't fucking know off the top of my mind but like if you're constantly worried about that shit you might be like missing the greater picture in the sense where like you just want to get fucking stronger by any means necessary you know what i mean so like you don't gotta fucking overthink and overanalyze any little thing but uh i think those are like three solid things that I wish I knew when I first got into the sport that I know now that I feel like a lot of you guys can take away from. Aside from that, like, the basic fucking things, like, listen to your coach, follow your program, follow your RPEs, don't overshoot, eat, sleep, hit your macros, you know, like, if you're not doing that shit and you're not getting stronger, don't bitch and complain because you're not doing what's necessary in order to get better, you know? So, like, you know, don't be thinking about nothing else or what else it could be if, like, you're not taking care of what you need to take care of in order to get better. But that's, that's really all I gotta say. Thank you for listening to my little rant and I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog portion of this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate you guys if you guys could like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave leave them in the comments down below and I'll answer those questions in my next video for you guys. Um, but that's really it. So aside from that, I'll catch you guys in the next one.